Okay, we are here at the Mix Beach House. We want to welcome Rob and Kyle from Matchbox 20. Thank you guys for being here. Thank I don't you. know if you know Good this or not. It is our 10th anniversary, Mix Beach House. Oh, oh wow. So this is nice. the 10th year that we've done this. This is a, There's awesome. a lot of, I mean, we were just saw like the list of people that have done this. It's pretty yeah. impressive. And we, we understand some people helicoptered in. We're a little jealous about that. Yeah. We want to try to yeah, work I that out. I want to be like Bono come next back time. if you guys just could make that happen. saying your sure. agent needs to do a little bit better yeah, I know, negotiation. Yeah. I know. The music business isn't what it used to be. <laughs> so I want to ask you this. Uh, we have a little contest going. Uh, we've had people like John Mayer and Ed Sheeran and Bono and the Edge, and I've had them describe the Mixed Beach House because obviously a lot of people are hearing this on the radio. They don't get to see the experience that you're seeing right now. You're both wordsmith, you write songs for a living, you write music for a living. <laughs> oh, and uh, That's on the spot. It is on the spot. If you could describe to the people what you're seeing right now at the Mixed Beach House. I don't know, imagine uh, if you've never been to Cape Cod and you close your eyes and you want to imagine what you think it's going to be like, this spot is everything that you think it's going to be. It's one place where we play where our view is way better than anybody yeah. else's view watching us. Well, you know? it's, 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 first of all, it's like the perfect little strip of land that juts out into the water, right? So it's like you, you've got the perfect panoramic view of what body of water is this actually? I don't know. Uh, that's uh, a great question. I think it's, buzz, yeah. is it a canal? Is it uh, Buzzards Bay or yeah. something like that? Um, I'm not sure. I'm there's, sure. There's a whole bunch of people pulling their boats right up to like kind of moor it out there so they can like listen to the show and check things that are going on. There's a lot more kayaks than I've seen in any place at one time. <laughs> Have you ever had a kayak at one of your shows there. before? Yeah, no, this might be the first. <laughs> it's an impeccably uh, maintained house, I will say as well. Beautiful. Yeah, oh, beautiful. nobody's ever commented on the actual inside oh of the God. house. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, this place is amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful, right? Grover, Grover Cleveland, Cleveland used to live yeah. here. So Did he really? Yeah. You didn't know that? No. Oh, yeah. No. This was you, Grover like, When you first walk house. in, there's a little like a little museum to Grover Cleveland in there. That yeah. is wild. Yeah. Look yeah, at that. Dude, I don't know what happens. Dude, as, as Look at here 10 years. As soon as I turned 50, <laughs> I was just like, oh, I really care about history now. By the way, maybe the only president or one of the only presidents to win an election, lose, and then win again. Yep. We yeah. know, we, we he was a 14th this. and 16th. Google person. told us this, kids. Yeah. This really went somewhere I was not imagining. I know. It's a, we're like, uh, we're like, <laughs> a, like Alice Cooper in, in Wayne's World. <laughs> no, anyway, yeah. I'm dying. Okay, so all right. um, music. By, by Let's the way, make this interview more yes. rock and roll. Okay, all right, yeah. come on. So, by the way, uh, that's a great answer. Again, we have had 10 different artists answer that question. When we get to the 20th anniversary of this, the winner is going to get this beach house. We'll contact you. Oh, great. Yeah, you no, there's no want. way we beat John Mayer. Yeah, you're right. Actually, John Mayer yeah. was the best one. Yeah, I met, John yeah, Mayer nice. did yeah, a fantastic no, I, I get, job. I get up to John. John's a wordsmith. Yeah, and then I asked a terrible question, and he got very upset with me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I asked yeah. a bad question. Oh. Yeah, it okay. happens You sometimes. can tell me later. I want to know. I, do, I, I will definitely tell you later. So, Kyle, you said you're a boat person. Yeah. Uh, you grew up on boats? Your parents had no, boats? No, no. My, my ex-wife and I had a boat for about 15 years, and um, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, just lakes, ne never on uh, endless like this. Or, right. Um, you know, a uh, speedboat, a 12-footer. It's nice. You know, kids yeah. loved it. Right. Great, great family activity. And you were saying, um, like, boat time is a lot like airport time. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot like airport time because <laughs> yeah. you can justify drinking at any, at any right. hour, I find, on yeah, boats. As soon as you get airports. on the boat. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or layovers, I should yeah. say. More specifically, layovers. <laughs> Like eight you're gonna lay over his on a boat, time you're fine. Yeah, there's a, there's a part of you like back when like I know Kyle, back when Kyle was drinking. Like there's a part of you. It's like your flight has been delayed for three hours. There's a little voice inside <laughs> you going, go. "Yeah, <laughs> let's go, let's go." It's uh, it it uh, is it tough on you guys traveling so much still after all of these years? I mean, Not now, or does man. it get easier for you? Well, we I mean we. We're at a point now, like like every band member has their own bus, yeah. so you're out with your family. Really? Yeah. So you know, oh, like it's, nice. it's like your own traveling home. Right. So it doesn't, you know, it's it's very comfortable. Like we, you know, it, right. it's way better. If we were still in the van and trailer, we'd be complaining. And I find that my family is still amazed by this. They'll, they'll come on the the, the bus. The, oh yeah. In fact, we have our own bus. Like they come on. The, so like, where's the other guy sleep? Yeah. Like it's been happening for years. Yes. Yeah. Right. We've been fortunate enough that this has been going on. And, right. And, uh, so you see through the eyes of your family that yeah. they're sort of astonished that your music has done that yeah. well. My son, goes, my son, my, my son gets oh, on. He's like, for my, son's like, my son's like my bus. Like, wait, wait, I mean, so you guys don't think about that when you're buying toothpaste at CVS and you hear 3 a.m. for the 50th time <laughs> that week. We're huge at CVS. Yeah. Though. By the way, yeah, we 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 didn't realize we were making perfect music for retail shopping yeah. when we started. Yeah. Yeah. 3 a.m. It's funny you bring that song up because yeah. to me that is. Probably my first experience with a song after having my heart broken. No, nice. Uh, I was uh, living in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I just got out of the army. I was divorced. I met this girl, and uh, she cheated on me with John Travolta. She was Olivia Newton-John. They were at a Halloween party, and I was babysitting her daughter while she was off. Oh no! Being Sandy. Oh, dude. And, Double uh, whammo. I, I get back 
I, I, I get like to the house after the whole thing unfolds in the middle of the night and I, I turn on the radio and it's three o'clock in the morning and here oh, comes really? Matchbox 20. So it's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. The universe collided Threw your perfect... song right at me at three right. o'clock in the morning. And that's why you hate Matchbox 20. Yeah. No, yeah. I, yeah. always a special place. No, Kathy Gullidge is the one I hate. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Kathy Gullidge. <laughs> Called out by me. Yeah, yeah, never no. let it go. She's probably dead now. <laughs> at, at, at Kathy, Kathy Gullidge. <laughs> Still a heartbreaker for me. Still a heartbreaker for wow. me. Wow. Yes. I, I love never, it. Never forget that moment. Right. Is there a song for you like that when you were younger that you hear? still today that was ruined by somebody or that stands out as a marker for your I'm gonna relationship? I'm going to go with Faithfully. Oh, like, yeah. I think I'm going to break up a girl that like, yeah. broke up with me. Right. And the idea that I'm forever yours, Faithfully. Yeah, you remember like, when you're, you're, yeah, yeah, you're like that age and like you get right. your heart broken and the first thing you do is run but to I a sad her. song and like yeah, you yeah. play it over I know. and over It's and like over. a cathartic yeah. thing. I it think is. it's a natural human instinct. Right. you got to hear something really sad to feel better. Oh, I know, I've, cri I've cried to Faithfully many times. Yeah, right? Was there a song when you wrote that you were like, this is it? I mean, a lot of them. I mean, that's... Most of them are from your catalog like that. That's the whole thing is like, you know, if you're... If you write music, that's kind of your go-to in, in your toolbox and your arsenal right, that you have. So like, if I something happens to me that I, it makes me emotional, I go write about it, and that right. helps me get it out. There's a, when I was going through, I actually texted him um, his song "Sleeping at the Wheel," our version of it on the album. Um, when my ex-wife and I were going through our separation, right. it's mm -hmm. like you know, it was just kind of walking somewhere and listening to that song, and something about it hit me in a way that yeah. was. Yeah, that's a that's like a song the idea that we were, almost. The idea that we were sleeping at the wheel in our relationship. Right. You know. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think I think music and, and words are one of the most powerful ways to reach into somebody's heart and right. you know, or mind. Yeah, my, like my wife and I have been together for 25 years, mm -hmm. and so these songs for us are like little milestone memories about you know like of course you know oh, oh this, I remember we wrote this that. song when we were doing this in our life right. and we wrote this when we were living at this place and there's also we that I remember right. like when you were not, when we were in, on vacation you wrote that song you know right. that night you know right. those kind of moments yeah I think it's that the, like particularly for our music anyway like I'm inside of it he's inside of it so mm -hmm. yeah so we have geographical sort of like ties yeah. to right. when we were working on that music right. and that's sort of another layer to just the music itself. like we're gonna be like remember that time we were at that beach house yeah. in Cape Cod right. is there, gonna be, is there gonna be a beach house song huh. what would be the beach house song what do you think um there's got to be some heartbreak. I don't know that you've experienced oh, that. Yeah, no, this, it yeah, feels this, like it's like not going to be a heartbreak. Hey. <laughs> it feels like we need a Could there hey. be a positive in it somewhere? Yeah. Gonna, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. Yes. You yeah. have, it's yeah. like a positive yeah. vibe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a standing on the boat like this right. with your white linen shirt. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a, yeah, this is not a, a like little Bob Marley and the blue vibes. Yeah. Like a little reggae. Right. Nobody's yeah. nobody oh, gets heartbroken in Cape Cod. Yes. I love that. All right. Well, we're going to let you get to it. Thank you guys for coming in. Seriously. Thank you. Good to see you again. Our listeners love this. You know, we give away the beach house where they get to stay for a week and then they get to. Yeah, is that yeah, what it that's is? That's part of the Dude, whole deal. Dope. So the, How many the, yeah. people win to stay here? So it's one family that mm. wins. Great. Uh, Tracy won it with her family, so she's bringing in oh, her sweet. friends and family. We fill up the, the fridge with like a bunch of food. Awesome. Do we get they, to meet Tracy? Uh, I don't know if you get oh. to meet Tracy, but I can make that happen. I'll give her a shout like out. To make that happen. Yeah. That's okay. awesome. Thank you, guys. She doesn't we care. Appreciate she's got the house. Yeah. Yes. Tracy, Thank we'll you. leave you some donuts. <laughs> Matchbox 20 donuts. Awesome. Great.